friends, family, and homesteaders. I hope this finds everyone doing well. I'm Nikki with Ruby Homestead. Frankie and Troy are on the tractor. It rained really hard for the last, well, not really hard, but it rained a lot the last two days. Um, today's our first clear day. However, he is itching to play in the dirt, so he is trying to plow up the garden. Man, that clover is tall. I'm pretty sure our sheep are gonna be a little disappointed when it's gone. Um, I figured I would run in through here and show you some of the things we did on the greenhouse. Um, about a week ago, maybe a little over, we had a really bad windstorm that came through. It um, tore loose. Luckily, these little strappies here are just, they were just attached to the greenhouse, so it did not rip. They're kind of useless now, but at least it didn't rip. We have one little area that there's actual damage. This is the replacement cover for our uh, 20 foot greenhouse. Um, it bent the frame really bad. So I have actually went back. You can see where it bows out right here. It needs some work, but until Frankie can figure out what we're gonna do with it, it's just gonna have to be like this. Um, I put cinder blocks and I tightened the plastic down. That way it will keep the frame from bending anymore. You can see the cinder blocks. There's another one right there and one right there. And then that planter back there is also sitting on the greenhouse plastic. Um, and I did the same thing on that side. I'm gonna have to go back through and put that blue tarp back up under that cinder block. That way it doesn't scratch and mess up the greenhouse. But that's our fix for right now. Let's see if I can actually show you a little bit of the damage. So, if you'll look, this is kind of bowed out, and this is bowed in. It was way worse. Oh, the sun's gonna be really bright. So, this was actually bending and about broken in there on the entire frame. You can see the damage right there. Now in this greenhouse's defense, this is probably its fourth year. Um, and then the cover itself, we just put this on in a video I uploaded just a minute ago. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. They're cheap greenhouses. They work. We love them. I personally would buy them again. I'm pretty sure Frankie would too. Uh, the smaller greenhouse that we have, the frame, you can see how it's metal, like real metal. It is actually a much solider frame. And I like the height in it too. It's not quite as wide and it's about five feet shorter, but we bought a cover for it. The only thing with this greenhouse is it was hard to find a replacement cover. I ended up getting a replacement cover that's like one foot longer than our greenhouse actually is, but it'll still fit, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so that will very likely be one of our next projects. In the meantime, let's see what all Frankie can get done with it being wet. <laughs> Got your hands full? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay. 
I need to find a little harness till we can strap Troy Boy to Daddy while he's on the tractor. <laughs> Hard <man up. laughs> However, if we don't let him ride, he he's not a happy camper. He's very hard to deal with. <laughs> he loves the tractor. Okay, so we had to fix our greenhouse. The wind came and it was just terrible. It's bent the frame, you can probably tell. Um, I actually need to go back through and tighten down the cinder blocks again because that actually kind of straightens it up a little bit. Yeah, you can see that bow in it pretty bad right through there. All right, so we've got some radishes. I don't know if we really even like radishes. This is our first year growing them, so we'll find out. I've got a couple of beets. The beets didn't do as good as I had hoped, but there is some, and we'll very likely end up transplanting some of them. Um, there's a little volunteer tomato here and here. There is cauliflower back here in the back. And then there's broccoli right here. There's some beets that have made their way over here from watering. We just got a new hose today, so now I can put the sprayer on till my seeds don't wander off so bad. Um, this is turnip greens. And then, of course, some of the turnip greens have moved over this way because they're a tiny, tiny seed. Now, we have spinach down through here. And then we've got lettuce right through here and more spinach right through there. We tend to use a lot of spinach. And rubies in here. Uh, let's see, so today, this morning, while Troy was taking his nap, I came out and I planted some beefsteak tomatoes, early girl tomatoes, and some Roma tomatoes. This year, our big focus is going to be on tomatoes and green beans and corn. Um, the last two years, we've done a whole bunch of potatoes. Um, so this year, that's we're going to slack off on the taters a little bit. Maybe, uh, tomatoes, and green beans, and corn. So as you can see, Frankie has the tiller that we borrowed. I had to put the dog up because she kept chasing, trying to chase the spines, the little twirly things. And I was afraid she was gonna get into it, so I had to put her up. Um, he took the plow earlier this week and last and as he's had time, he's just made a couple swipes through there and turned it over to kind of kill the grass a little bit. We had planted clover in there. <laughs> he was looking for me. Thank you. 
water gets too hot, you turn it off. Mm. That's where it comes out of. Mm. Just like uh, the ones, the cars have the caps. Huh. They have an exhaust thing too. You lift it out. Interesting. You got the keys? Yeah, they're in my pocket. Hey everybody. This is Ruby Homestead and we're signing off. And we got the garden pulled up. Might hit it one more time. But there she is. All tilled up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll probably do a video. We're probably going to put the fabric on top of it. We'll have to kill everything underneath it. And then we'll start planting. Like, subscribe, and